and welcome. Today we're going to learn about triangles. So, can anyone tell me what the definition of a triangle is? Yes, Nimrata? It has three sides. Yes, very good. So when a shape has three sides, that makes it a triangle. When there's four, that's a square. In two sides, you can't have a shape. Anything else? Yes, Altish? Um, all angles add up to 180 degrees. Yes, so each angle out of three, they all have to add up to 180. So now we're going to talk about each of these three different types of triangles. Does anyone know what this one is called? Yes, I think this, Sorry. I okay. think this one is called an equilateral triangle. Yes, correct. It is called an equilateral triangle because each of the sides are equal, which also means that each of the angles inside are also equal. I would like you to turn to your partners and talk about what you think each measurement of the angle is within the triangle. All right, does anyone have an answer? Yes? Is it 60? It is. So, since we know the total angle measurement is 180, 180 divided by 3 is 60. Very good, Danny. All right, moving on, this triangle is called an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two equal sides and one not equal side. And you also know that because there are two equal sides, there are two equal angles. So, when you have one angle, you know all the rest of the angles. Please turn to your partner and discuss the other measurements of these two angles. Alright, does anyone have an answer? 40? Yes, so this one up here is 40, and we know that because since this side is equal to this side, the opposite angles are the same. So we know that this is 60, and then 180 minus 60 minus 60 equals 40. Very good. All right. Our final triangle is a scalene triangle. This is a triangle that has no equal sides, so each side is a different length. That means all the angles are different measurements, too. And you can tell if the lengths are the same by these marks. So you see how this one has two of the same? That means those two are equal. And over here, all three are the same. But over here, all three are different. Now I would like you to turn to your partner and discuss what information you would need to determine whether or not a triangle is scalene or not. All right, does anyone have an answer? Yes, Hannah? So, in order to determine if it's a scaling triangle, I would need to know two angles because then I could subtract and find those two to find the last one. Or I could look at the three sides and see that they're all different lengths. Yes, very good, Hannah. All right, now I would like you to work on this worksheet and determine whether or not the triangle is equilateral isosceles or scalene. And if you can't figure it out, you can write none. All right, I know sometimes these names are hard to remember, like isosceles and scalene, and it's hard to remember which one goes with which. So I have a little song that will hopefully help you guys remember. I'll sing it once so you guys can get the tune. What triangle has all equal sides and all equal angles? Equilateral roll. What triangles have two equal sides as well as angles? I saw the least, and then there is the scalene. No sides or angles are the same. Remember for our triangles, their angles add to 180. All right, now we can all sing it together. Ready? Three, two, one. What triangle has all equal sides, not equal angles? Equilateral. What triangle has two equal sides as well as angles? I saw the leaves. And then there is the scaling. No sides or angles are the same. Remember for our triangles, their angles add to 180. 
Remember for all triangles, their angles that you want.